Oh shit. Welcome siblings to the Hippie Report. It's a beautiful day in uh, quarantine today. And uh, I, uh, I've uh, got myself my bong and my bowl and my bourbon. Uh, so it means it's time for a show, man. What up, Joe? <clears throat> I'm doing very well today. It's a gorgeous day outside. It's really windy here in Longmont, Colorado, where I live. If you'd like it to be less windy on the next show, feel free to donate to my Venmo, and I will uh, contact the authorities about that and, uh, and see to it that the wind dies down for the next episode. <clears throat> this lighter seems like it doesn't want to be a lighter. What a disaster. What a disaster. We only do one thing on this show. What's up, Roland? I hope you're doing very well. How's your guitar going? Roland's a good guitar player. <clears throat> He's been playing his goddamn guitar all quarantine. I'm sure he keeps it clean. Uh, if this is your first time watching the show, um, this is just me taking a break during the day and getting high. Um, this show gets rebroadcast, I believe, as of tomorrow uh, on the local Longmont uh, TV station. Channel 8, I believe it is. Uh, this will be their late night show. So, we'll see. Um, so if you trigger some interesting um, topic while we're all sitting around talking, um, that will end up being on TV. This show is not brought to you by... Uh, weed or bourbon or anything else or this fancy jacket no sponsor for the episode <clears throat> but I'm talking to some people about doing some sponsorships I think it's sort of a fun idea man I want to be careful how I do it and I want it to be fun and I don't want any sponsors from any serious people Anyways, it's just, it couldn't be a more beautiful day. I went out and did a little bit of gardening, a little weeding this morning. Uh, I really want to go and hit up the flower bin here in town. It's our, like, our, um, our flower store. And um, I, I'm not sure if they're really cranking over there or if, or if uh, they're closed. I imagine they're closed. Um, but I really want to buy some food items to grow. Yellow squash being probably chief among them. One summer I grew yellow squash out there and like, God damn it, it took over the whole garden. That yellow squash shit, it doesn't fuck around at all. At all. It's amazing. And it'll grow real easy and quick. So I recommend it if you're growing food at your house. Be growing those. I'll be growing some peppers. Um, probably some light chili peppers, that kind of stuff. And uh, I really like those Thai hot peppers. Um, and then I grew one uh, a few summers ago in that garden called um, a, a Mole. A Holy Mole. Which I thought was cute. So I bought it. But it made these little black peppers and they were like Oh, God, they were so wicked good. And um, at the time, my cousin <clears throat> was living here with me and renting out that other room. And um, we'd go out there and we'd be talking about whatever, and we'd both just, like, look at each other and start reaching for the peppers. And we'd both grab one off the bush and just keep eye contact while we'd munch down on it. It was a really good time. A really good time. I want to thank everybody that's donated to my Venmo uh, during these shows, uh, especially the people that have earmarked the money that they donate. Um, people that have been like, you can only spend this on bourbon, for instance. Uh, I appreciate that. 
because I, I will I will abide by your rules. Definitely. Um, and thank you to people that have been leaving gifts on my front porch uh, for me. That's been very kind. Mostly people leave me weed. Um, if you're one of my friends and you know where I live, you probably already know I love to receive weed. And uh, you're more than welcome to, to donate that. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing very well. Uh, I'm trying to go with kind of a spring vibe with my jacket today. I can kind of flower situation. Seems good. I think I just threw out that pink tie. I had like a pink tie and I, I ended up hating it. I probably could have worn it like a motherfucker with this. What's that, Wayne? Welcome, dude. Welcome, Hind. I hope everyone's doing very well today. Um, I haven't really gotten anything done except gardening today. <clears throat> I regret nothing. But I, I haven't really done much. I've been feeling kind of down. Um, I had a, a bit of a dramatic month this month uh, in my social world. And um, so that's been, that's been heavy on my mind, man. <clears throat> and you may have noticed this month, as these shows have progressed, you probably have noticed that my, my drinking has kicked on. Well, you know, man, sometimes my drinking kicks on, you know, and that's okay. I, I grew up in Texas, and when I started to learn doing my job or whatever, uh, I, I learned from pretty, pretty kind but hard folks. And um, I, I really, really drank whiskey like a fucking fish drinks water. Fish drink watch. What's up, Terry? Boy, speak of the goddamn devil. Terry, one of the great um, community organizers down in Lubbock, Texas. Very kind person. Loves his community. He's sort of like his own... Um, he's like a fucking historian of sorts as well. Great guy, great, great asset to his community. Terry, I hope you're doing very well, sir. To Terry. Uh, long may his reign uh, reign. Yep. What's up, Brian? Welcome to the show. Questions, comments? Uh, feel free to put them in the comment section. And I will, I will try and respond to those. Um, today in Longmont, Colorado, it is windy and looks like some kind of like a rainstorm might be blowing in, uh, which means tomorrow, you know, it's either going to be cold or hot, right? But like if it's, if it's nice, it'll be a great day for gardening, friends. This is not a gardening show, but uh, we might do it a gardening episode because I need, I want to do these episodes, but I also have a big rose bush I'm trying to trim. So maybe I'll try and do that. Oh, you like my watch hint? Thank you, dude. Uh, I got it for real, real cheap. I'll try and show it to you. It's a wooden watch. Can you tell, I guess? Not really, right? Yeah, uh, not really. It's cool, though. It's wooden. And uh, here, maybe I can just take it off. Yeah, see? Kind of a cool watch. I think. Does that help? It was cool, man. I had to really, like, take a bunch of these links out. Because, um, as you might be able to tell by my limp-wristed style, um, I have, like, I have, like, real, like, baby-sized wrists. And uh, it's not diagnosed. Not, but not diagnosed as baby wrist, uh, but uh, it's it's um, you know fucking. I looked it up on WebMD and I have baby wrists, so. <clears throat> the watch helps my wrists look more robust. Everybody loves a man with a nice robust wrist. You know. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I'm glad. Uh, I was thinking, I like this watch as well, and I was thinking about fucking getting it in a lighter tone of wood. 
because it was like literally a six dollar watch and um, I just found it out there <laughs> yeah uh, I was thinking about getting kind of like the lighter wood or whatever but I think dark's probably the way to go it's actually a very dark brown but I think it goes alright with a black suit isn't that fucked up? I love that kind of stuff anyway Oh my god, I'm sure that's fascinating to everyone. Ando's watch. He's wearing a watch. He's wearing a jacket. He's trying to fucking look nice for this. I'm trying to let you motherfuckers know that I care. You know? You think I just come out here and smoke all the weed just for me? Oh, friends. You nailed me. Yes, I do. And, 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 and I'm trying to monetize this part of my life. I get here, I, I just hang out in my house and get high all the time. I'm trying to make this a show for you. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, hello, Taylor. I hope you're doing very well today. Uh, ukulele Dave, God damn it. I hope you're doing very excellently as well. Two of my favorite people, man. Two of my very favorite people. One I haven't seen in a while, and one I just would love to see way more often. Ukulele Dave, I hope you're doing very well, sir. Is it, uh, it's prime ukulele season, it seems to me. It's clicking into prime ukulele season. Might be time to do another show with Love Spray. Don't you think? I mean, if we're gonna be having ukulele season, it's probably time to bring our bands back together, you know, Dave. You know, you were sort of the front man of our band, and uh, we did a show without you because you weren't available, but I gotta tell you, uh, it broke our hearts. Broke our hearts? Broke our little hearts? Uh, we should do more of that show. That band was called Love Spray, for those of you that don't know. Uh, you can buy the Love Spray t-shirt on Etsy right now. You'll just look up uh, Ando the Artist on Etsy, and you will find the Love Spray t-shirt available. What's up, Rob? I hope you're doing very well. I am uh, currently... Oh. Cur I'm currently supposed to be working on a, a liquid light photo shoot, uh, which I think I'm going to probably be able to get to tonight, finally. I've been putting it off because I've been depressed. <clears throat> I'm feeling okay today. And I think, uh, I think we'll do a liquid light shoot tonight. So I'm pretty excited. I love fucking around with liquid light. And um, the project that I'm doing is going to be really interesting and technically difficult. Which is always such a motherfucker. Anyway, it's nice to run into all of you. I hope that you're all getting stoned with me. And if you got a little splash of bourbon, I, I hope you give yourself a little splash, you know? It fucking lubricates the soul. Helps the art slip out, you know? I'm thinking about getting like a cool lighter for this show. I think that would be kind of radical. Uh oh, I'm losing it. Here you go, Alex. I'm gonna read your comment here. What up, you Dave? Oh, he's talking to Ukulele Dave. I love talking to Ukulele Dave. I think everybody should. Do 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 do. What up, Derek? I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um. Today, this is the 33rd episode, and I put a title up that was sort of flirting with the idea that I might talk about like secret societies and uh, numerology, but um, I'm not really, I'm not really going to talk about that because, uh, I don't know, I don't know just seems nobody's interested in that in real life <clears throat> but if you are 
you should definitely like look up YouTube or um, just Google some shit. If anybody does that, uh, you can look up the number 33. And what you'll get is a lot of um, Masonic stuff and um, a lot of numerology stuff. A lot of like math worship kind of stuff. And uh, I recommend it, actually, because it's, uh, it's interesting to know how other people think the world works. And, um, oh, it's a lot of secret information, but nothing's really a secret anymore. It's the information age. You know, like, um, <clears throat> all the secrets of, like, uh, the Masons, for instance, which are, like, a perfect example of math worshippers, um... The, all their real secrets have been out for years. And um, if you're friendly and uh, know how to ask, Masons will totally tell you anything you want. So it's never been like a crazy secret organization. We've known all the secret handshakes and shit for years. But I do recommend checking out that stuff. Here you are bored or whatever with the world and, and you know stuck in your homes. You should definitely look up 33. It's a master number. That's right, Hind. Isn't that interesting? I think it's very interesting. I don't consider myself a math worshiper, but I do think it's a it's a pretty strong clue as to how the how the world works. And um, I have my own reasons, and and um, I have my own ways of thinking about that shit. That I don't necessarily recommend, but uh, yeah, thirty three is like a sacred number to a lot of folks. You know, and you can look that up uh, yourself. I recommend that. Look it up yourself. Math is really interesting. Um, if you're interested in more interesting math shit, um, you should look up the number 33, and that maybe will open some doors for you. Um, also look up uh, the golden ratio, and look up the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence. Um... And it's the internet, so you can listen to me say that a million times if you're trying to hear it better. The golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence um, and, uh, and the number 33. That should open up everything you need. Um, if you want to make some great art, you can build those ideas in. And humanity will basically have to love you. <laughs> anyway. We've known all the secret handshakes and shit for years. Could that be another show-inspired t-shirt? Fuck yes, it can, Alex. Noted. Noted. Except I need to write it down or I'll get high. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Ah! Ah! No, I want to remember the good idea. It's a great idea. Ah! Ah! What's up, Hind? Oh, you got more commentary. Excellent. Fibonacci sequence. Word. Yeah, that is how you spell it. If you're looking uh, in the comments of this video, you should, you should look at Hind's comment there. That's how you spell Fibonacci sequence. <clears throat> and yes, Alex, I will try and make that t-shirt. I didn't immediately forget. It's funny. Um, yeah, there are t-shirts for sale on the Etsy shop. Uh that are, are quotes from the show and uh, just fun little pandemic shirts. They're 20 bucks, these shirts. I'm doing them for like as cheap as I can get them made and shipped because I'm not trying to get wealthy with this stuff. I'm just trying to like get it out there. I think it's really funny. I'll make a few bucks, you know, but like it's, you know, it's 20 bucks flat, I believe. And uh, that includes shipping. So, or it's free shipping, whatever. You know there's no such thing as fucking free shipping. It's fuck me about the shipping. That's what it is. So, it's fuck me about the shipping. So, hit me up on Etsy. Not all of my products on that Etsy shop are free shipping. Just the pandemic shirts. Because uh, <coughs> that's life. That's life. And, uh, you know, life's real tough and shit. And here's my Venmo. 
If you want to make my life less tough, you could just, if you want to. It's good to see everybody. Yes, we will try and do that t-shirt. Bless you for the idea. A big trash bag just blew by my house and it looked like it was like the biggest trash bag I've ever, I've ever seen. <coughs> that was amazing. And um, now, I, now I've made this show me looking out the window and describing what I see. That is, uh, that is the level of uh, entertainment being brought to you uh, by the Hippie Report. And you're welcome. Uh, because uh, a piece of trash blew by my window and it, and it blew my mind and I tried to share it and, and it went like this. So, bless you uh, for all of your wonderful attendance here at the show today. Ooh, my bourbon's just about gone. Both my bowls are smoked. Fuck, I think this, I think this show might be over. Like, really soon. Golly, was this a quick one? I don't know. Seemed like a quick one. Sometimes it's a quickie, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for sticking around, my dear, dear siblings. Um, I bless each and every one of you. I hope that each of you has your own most perfect day, starting right now. Happy 420. I think that happened during this show. <laughs>